YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah, back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is another crochet hair review video. In today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, is the Rasta Free Dream Romance Curl Hair. Now, if you're not familiar with my crochet hair series, welcome, join the family, smash that subscribe button, but this is how they work. I first come on here with my first thoughts of a crochet hair, showing you how it looks literally the first day I install it, telling you overall was it an easy install, hard install, how many packs I had to use, how much the hair cost, where I bought it from, and overall my first day impressions of the hair. Then I come on here one week later, having worn the hair for a total of a week, having slept in the hair for a total of a week. How has that hair reacted in that last week? What was my nighttime routine with the hair and whether I feel like that hair has gone uphill or downhill only in the matter of a week. And then I come on here with my final day of thoughts of a crochet hair, whether it's been two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of wear. I come on here on that final day telling you whether I feel like it's active friendly, water friendly, and overall whether I recommend you run out and purchase said hair. Now if you're somebody who wants to skip around in this video, that's perfectly fine. There are time stamps below to skip to my first day, first week, and final thoughts. But if you're somebody who wants to watch the video as it naturally flows, just keep watching to see my first day thoughts on this dream romance curl a few moments later so now coming on here for my first day thoughts on this dream romance curl by rasta free now this is what the hair looks like in the packaging this is what the packaging of this hair looks like and then of course this is what it looks like in my head let me do a turnaround again on my first day thoughts i never cut the hair so the hair is going to be extremely extremely uneven as you're seeing it right now but of course i will cut this hair eventually the package of this hair doesn't have a length distinction on it but i'd say it's anywhere between 14 16 inches now i purchased this hair from gmbs hair at a price of 10.99 a pack which is kind of steep i then realized that it is on trans beauty supply for $6.99 a pack. I just recently did a video where I talked about the black owned businesses that you need to support and somebody reminded me of Trends Beauty Supply Store and I was like, duh, of course, I know the Trends owner, Carlos. I'm in the clubhouse rooms with him all the time. On his site, is $6.99 a pack. So I'm like, I might have to switch over because GMBS took two weeks to get me this hair. It took me two whole weeks, two weeks and two days to be specific. I ordered it on a Friday, I got it not even that two Fridays from then I got it that following Monday so two weeks and two days to get this hair and it's supposedly the next state over on their site they say they're in Tennessee I'm in North Carolina shouldn't take that long on the site it says same day shipping I was like at the latest it should have been shipped out that following Monday but I digress shipping did take quite some time to get here but when I got here I was in love. I was in love immediately. Now this hair I've been familiar with for years. India Aija here on YouTube, amazing crochet hair creator. She had reviewed this hair a few years ago and I think when she reviewed it, you guys must have seen the review and then came in my comments and said, can you try this hair? I wasn't familiar with it. I YouTubed it. I saw her, her recent video about it. And again, this was years ago and I was like, I see why you guys want me to try it. It's a beautiful curl, but yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. But then when I switched over to trying black supported brand and as I talked about Rasta Free is a heavy supporter of the black community I was like okay let me give it a try let me give the romance curl a try in her video I watched her install video I never watched her review video on it because I do not like to watch other creators actual reviews of hair because I don't want it to persuade me but she did do an install and a separate review video of it I'll link her install up above my install is on straight back braids now if you guys know I installed a curl a couple of days ago called the Ari curl did not work out well for me I only wore that hair for a mere 24 hours but I was like I gotta save the braid pattern so if you want to see what's going on up under here I mean when I say literal straight back braids I mean literal straight back braids but if you want to see it that video is up above to check out my install of that hair but I was like I'm gonna reuse the braid pattern and I'm going to use this dream romance curl now when I bought this hair from the GMBS site I must have been drunk or something I, I don't know what I was thinking because again it came two weeks and two days later and I was like did I really order these colors I ordered it in the color 33 so I got it in the color 33 this is a color 33 I got it in a color six I used the whole six pack and I got it in a color HM 1B 33 so I got it in three different colors and I got 
two packs of each. I got two packs of the 33. I got two packs of the HM1B30. I got two packs of the sixes. Yeah, I was all over the place. And when I got it, I was like, how am I going to make this look good? But I think I did a good blend. I just kind of separated every single one. If I did one HM1B33, then the next one was a 33. Then the next one was a six. Then the next one was a HM1B33. Then the next one was a 33. Then the next one was a six. And the next one, like that's how I kind of installed it. And I think overall, if you can kind of see I think I did pretty okay with the color gradients like sometimes when you do a color you can do it too patchy like you'll do too much 33 in one spot you'll do too much six in one spot you'll do too much of one color but I was like I'm being very meticulous I'm gonna make it look like it's you know blending all well together and I think you can kind of you see a lot of the HM1B33 because that's what I tried to use more in the front like in the front when I got to the front I tried to use that since it's more of a black and it kind of matches my roots a lot more my hair is really grown out since I got it colored but nonetheless I got that many packs but I only ended up using four packs of hair surprisingly I bought six India used six so I was like y'all know how heavy-handed I am with my packages I'm gonna probably need six in my mind I was like should I go seven because your girl get crazy but actually I have two whole packs left out of the six that I use and I have a couple of strands left from the other package so this is what the hair looks like out of the package so when you take it out of the pack it comes already like this perfect for crocheting perfect for grabbing your needle and going like this you do not have to separate like the Ari curl the Ari curl if you watch my install video that you know I had just a time with the install of that hair but this hair already comes kind of pre already in the sections for you so again this is what it looks like you just plop this in your hair install on top of the braids that I had already done only took an hour did not split this I mean I think this heart hair would be hard to split anyways like it already comes pre-separated which like I said in my Ari curl video is my preference my preference is this and that does not make me a baby or a beginner it just makes me somebody who loves convenience and I love the convenience of this if I you know this I guess you could split it but then as you split it it's just gonna get you know like this so it comes already pre in a defined section for you the curls feel very I don't know it's like something I'm trying to think of what it feels like and I don't know if I felt anything like this per se like I could say oh it reminds me of the water wave or the bohemian braid but it really doesn't it, it reminds me of a pulled out version of that like this isn't as kind of stiff as those hair are like it's a very good feeling I like it it's not hard it's not crunch it's not too crunchy it got a little bit of crunch to it but not that crunchy um it's just overall a beautiful curl pattern too like I don't know if I've tried a curl pattern exactly exactly like this like I probably have gotten close I probably have done very similar but I don't think I've had an exact curl pattern like this. So I, first day, love it. Like last night I was so in love with it. I was very much so so disappointed too because this was going to be my beach hair. I was going to the beach in early April. Um, but my plan originally was to wear the Ari Curl by Nia Natural Hair for the whole month of March. So the whole month of March I was supposed to wear that hair. And then this was going to be my April hair to wear to the beach. Because this is such a beachy vibe. And not to say I can't, but by the time I go on my beach trip it'll be like five weeks from now so I just will want something more fresh so when I put it in and I saw how beautiful it was I was like this would be so water friendly and I'm gonna test it I'm gonna test it here you know might not be in the pool I might not be going anywhere near real water but I'll test it to see if it's water friendly through my wear of this hair like I always do but first day impressions I'm just like so in love with this again I haven't cut it I will probably you know just do some little layers right here these scissors do not work so this is just for demo but do something right here something on this side a little bit too it doesn't feel super heavy again I only have four packs in but it doesn't feel super heavy on my head it feels very lightweight in my head I haven't put any product in it overnight uh, you know sometimes I apply mousse but it just feels really good this first day that I don't feel like I need to put anything in initially again something might change and I as I keep wearing it will need to put some kind of product in but overall first day thoughts I like this girl I'm really liking it I'm really digging it it's a vibe it's getting me back into the crochet hair mood again it's been a few months since I have tried a crochet hair and the Ari curl I, I failed miserably at it but I'm back and better with this curl to see how I feel about this hair in one week though just keep watching to see my one week thoughts on this Rasta free dream romance curl one week later so now I am back and it is week one with this Rasta free dream romance curl hair and this is what it looks like after one week let me do a turnaround so you guys see. 
let me get up in camera so you guys can see the definition of said curls at one week come through this whole week i called my mom the other day i showed it well called her on facetime i showed it to her she was like i love it i am very impressed with this and i was like i love it too i'm just so bummed that that ari curl could not last me through because i really think this will be the ultimate water friendly vacation friendly hair and i'm not gonna get to go on my vacation with it like i could possibly but it'd be week five and i feel like i wouldn't be able to evaluate it really really well at week five i know i will want a fresh style for my vacation so it bugs me that i'm not gonna get to see this how it reacts in real authentic like chlorine water like i'm gonna test it here in my like regular tap water but like chlorine beach water let's see let's give it the real test to test now i'm going to try to pick my next hair very carefully so that optimally it will work for beach vacation situation but this week has been phenomenal with this hair in terms of knottage let's get into knottage first because i don't think i talked about how many times i knotted this hair in my first day thought i did knot this hair only one time so it's not like i tripled quadrupled knotted this hair i only knotted it one time i'm not somebody who typically has to knot a lot of hair a lot of times just because it with the more silky hairs yeah you got to make sure it ain't gonna be no slippage but there isn't really a high chance or high probability of slippage with this hair but overall not at the hair one time i did use the invisible method for the front again always gonna link up love is speaks video up above to show you guys what i mean when i say invisible that's what i do in the areas that you're typically gonna see so like in this area so the part area as well as around the perimeter that's what I typically do everywhere else I just do a normal not situation because who gonna see it like just do whatever now as far as nighttime routine all I've done with this hair is I have pineapple which means pull all the hair to the top of my head like and it looks like a pineapple and then I put this little scrunchie around it again don't use something that's like a total scrunchie like one of those goody scrunchies just use something like this this is big enough that I can wrap it around twice and it can work well and then I put my scarf on this scarf I got from Glee Made. I'll link it down below um it's just a satin line scarf and this is what I put on this is typically the scarf I wear for every single hair it's big enough to conceal everything from locks to hair like this so it works really really well this hair has continued to be very low maintenance low maintenance to no maintenance let me say no maintenance because i haven't even used a product i don't want to say i'll save at the end if you know some things come in i have to start clipping things some frizzies come in some tangles so right now i'm gonna say week one it has been no maintenance in the sense that i have not applied a single lick of product i have not applied anything to this hair i have not had to take scissors to cut any frizz so what you see is not doctored what you see is what ha has honestly been for the last week overall that has been my first week thoughts with this dream romance curl hair to see my final thoughts just keep watching later so now i am back for my final thoughts on this rasta free dream romance curl hair it has been five weeks with this hair as you can see from the signage and i do not want to bury the lead with this i don't want to come off overly enthusiastic i don't want to come off overly excited however your girl must say this is her favorite hair to date favorite hair to date come a little closer i said favorite hair to date that is right what are we 57 hairs deep and i think for the last couple of years my favorite hair to date that has made my list you know we don't speak the name of, of this company in this household but that main concept waterfall curl i again cannot you pretend like that didn't happen it happened it's on this channel that was my favorite hair for to date and nothing took its place even after i stopped liking and stopped messing with the main concept brand nothing took its place again i was evaluating hairs and being fair with all my evaluations but finally your girl has a winner i have found my favorite hair to date five years deep five years deep again i'm always looking for another hair to dethrone my favorite hair but let's get into why let's get into why you guys are maybe wondering why is this your favorite hair leah what makes a hair your favorite hair well you already know your girl's low maintenance your girl's lazy your girl don't like to do a lot with her hair your girl likes to lay it on down wake it on up gel them edges down walk out the door that's what i've done with this hair all I've done with this hair, all, all I've done is gel it. I, I have not done it. Twisting it up at night, hadn't done that. Didn't do that now one time. Detangle this hair. I've detangled this hair four times. 
not four times a week. I mean four times in the last five weeks I've detangled this hair. This is looking good for how not detangled this hair daily. Daily. It's not one big matted mess. It's not one big frizzy poof ball. Again, let me get in camera so you can kind of see what it looks like at again five weeks. Five weeks of wear with this hair. Boop, boop, boop. Now, what product have I used for detangling? You might be asking, was it water? Was it Hawaiian Silky? Did not use any of my Hawaiian Silky for this hair. Did not let Hawaiian Silky touch this hair. I did use my Shine and Jam Magic Fingers Setting Mousse. This is the mousse I've been using for my detangling the four times that I've done it. Um, it's by Stasha Harris. You see her on here? She's a black black braider so she has a lot with the shine and jam family she has like a edge control i did have to buy the edge control i bought the whole line because i love to see black women doing things so if there's a black woman setting mousse i'm buying set setting mousse so what i do the thing i will say about this setting mousse though is you cannot forget to shake this like most setting mousses sometimes i can not shake and it still comes out a good consistency if you don't shake this it will come out liquidy so you have got to shake this mousse um do not forget to shake it but then when you do it comes out you know like a normal mousse it is alcohol free make sure i remember it saying yeah it's alcohol free and it's good for natural hair as well all I do is I take this in my hand and I just kind of rake it on and then ooh, you know just pull the hair apart again I've done this four times throughout the wear of this hair haven't done it probably since last Saturday I went out last Saturday I did it before I went out but I didn't do it before filming today so just gonna pull and that's how you kind of you just work the course, you, you make it so there's no white, so you work it thin, but you, you take your time. You can, you know, do this while you're watching your TV shows at night or whenever you want to detangle. But again, you do not have to tangle week, detangle daily, every three days. You can do it as needed um, and just kind of, you know, separate, separate, separate. But this hair is not a tangly, frizzy mess at five weeks. Again, up in camera. Mm -mm -mm -mm. feel looking good so again that's all you have to do to really detangle this hair and you do not need to detangle this hair often it is a as needed as you see fit as you're watching your show as you're thinking about it type of a deal but do i think this hair is water friendly absolutely just because i didn't go to the beach doesn't mean i didn't test it in water i did test it in water and it is just like most crochet hair synthetic crochet hair it is very fast drying it does not really dull out after you get it wet too like the thing about it is i think it's dulled out over time just because again wear putting your scarf on every night doing normal weekly things i think your hair is going to normally wear out which was good because it started a little bit on the shiny side a little bit more you know little tone look a little like a little, you know, not plasticky, but it looked a little shiny at first. I, you know, tend to prefer a little bit more realistic. And I think as you go on, it definitely gets a more realistic phase. But I think post wetting it and getting it wet, I don't think it doled it out like super hard. Like sometimes can happen with some hairs. Like some hair, you get it wet and it's, it's gone from zero to a hundred in terms of the dullness. I don't think it, it doled it any more than just the normal wear of the hair that it's done, which again, it might not be as shiny or, you know, shiny as it was early on but that's totally okay in my opinion again water friendly i think you're going to be able to get this hair wet repeated times active wear friendly i think you're going to be able to work out get that work out in with this hair have i worked out in it you guys know i live a very sedentary lifestyle i've never lied about that i ain't never say i was a gym girl i ain't never claimed to be i've been very clear about that but when i evaluate a hair that i think is active wear friendly i think about a hair that can withstand a lot of sweat a lot of movement a lot of being put in ponytails repeatedly because again every night what i do to go to sleep is i pineapple this hair so meaning i put it all back pull it up to the top of my head and put a scarf on so i'm pineappling every single night so it knows how to be in a ponytail five five weeks seven days a week it's used to being in a scarf in a pullback situation i think you can wash it several times too if you're working out and you know you sweat you want to you know make sure your hair gets clean you can do that with this hair but overall do i recommend this hair goes without saying goes without saying if it's my number one hair since my favorite there's still people sometimes who would be like hey do you recommend it after every word that i just uttered i would still sometimes get comments but but what do you think do you, did you like it 
the proof is in the pudding but overall what did you think of this hair do you like it do you think you want to try it again i got my hair from gmbs beauty it did take a while trans beauty black owned beauty supply store price point is 6.99 as opposed to 9.99 it's been five weeks, so I can't remember exactly how many packs I used. I believe it was four. So four at $6.99 is probably better than four at $9.99, but I would still pay $40 for this because I got, what, five amazing weeks. I could have gone longer, but again, my beat strip is next week, and your girl needs a fresh style. So if you want to see what my next fresh style is, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel because you want to see what I do for my beach hair, and you also want to see coming up soon, I will be doing my top five beach-friendly hair like I normally do. I know I skipped 2020 because I, I didn't want to be insensitive to the pandemic and what was going on. I knew people wasn't traveling, but I know the beaches are opening and back up. I know people are getting out. So we got that video coming for you soon. So be locked in so you don't miss that. Keep that notification bell on so you can be alerted as soon as I upload a new video. And make sure that you are following me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I go give you all of me, all of me. Baby, make you follow me, follow me. I go give you all of me, all of me.